at university what I picked up was extracurricular activities really helped me um, broaden my skill set, broaden my ability to work with different people and that kind of helped when I moved into, into my bachelor role. What's your and almost? So I'm, I'm an international relations student and when I was at university I, I, I was personally a director of the TEDx for St Andrews. Um, so I was organising that event and that was something that I could bring up in interviews and it was something that showed leadership, it showed organisation, it showed proactivity. Um, so it was, it was something that I very clearly clear that I could point to. Um, so I found that particularly helpful. The one thing I would really be conscious of learning is just making the most of the opportunity that you have and just to be open to saying yes to learning new skills um, and to, to really be starting to develop the can-do attitude and the I'll give it a go attitude and the we've got a problem ahead of us. We need to, we need to find a way using our teamwork and our skills, our different skills, of, uh, of making it happen. Learning how to maximise your time is a, is a big one. I don't, you don't really get taught that at uni. Um, and you also don't realise how much time you've got at uni either. Other, other skills that are really important, which I personally overlooked as well, is as he said, focused on the content of the degree rather than anything else, is to keep developing your soft skills. So, um, how you interact with people, your communication skills, how you present information. I think it's more about your soft skills, because even though the technical is important and being able to explain things to clients and understand what you are talking about is really important, those are skills that are kind of easier to learn and to develop over time, because you can take courses, you can gain that education in another way, but your soft skills, like working in a team environment, collaboration, presenting to clients, public speaking, these are things that take, I think, more time to develop and become comfortable with. A lot of transferable skills. So um, I've been on projects both in the industrial sector, in oil and gas, and I've also been in projects in the public sector working with the government. It doesn't limit you as what you can do. As long as you have the, the skills, um, which are good time management, um, being a good team player, being able to manage stakeholder expectations, multitasking, those kind of things, being able to, and, and having an inquisitive mind really. You're going into a project and again it can be a different industry. You need to quickly understand what's going on. I mean there's a variety of skills that are important. One you just touched on, communication I think is the, in any job, but particularly this job, is a, one of the most important skills. Other good skills I think are being able to ask the right questions, which falls into communication as well I suppose. Um, because when you're arriving, you've got a problem you're trying to solve, you want to make sure you're, you're asking the right questions so you know exactly what the ask is of, of the company. And being analytical is also very important, I think. You get a lot of information from day one, you're overloaded with information, and it's being able to break that information down and analyse what the priorities are and how you're going to meet those priorities is, is very important. And being able to come up with a pragmatic plan to get you from A to Z via B, C, D, E, F is very important. Number one is just kind of getting stuck in. So at, at our level, there's not much experience that we can point to where we've said we've done this before in X, Y, and Z cases. But just being keen and eager to learn and willing to work hard kind of sets you apart in some ways, which is quite interesting. Also, I think asking questions as well. It's so easy for us to think that we don't know enough, so we don't ask the question. But sometimes if you, if you ask it in the right setting and in the right way, to, to your immediate task manager. I've, I've at least found in my, my experience that sometimes it's a question that they've not asked themselves. What we have in common is not the knowledge that we started with, but the skills that we really all possessed before we came here. And what they looked for was, you know, per, being personal, being strong communication, but also a strong dependency on logic. If you can see how a problem is, you know, really take a step back, analyze it, understand the steps needed to really just overcome that issue or find the best way to find a solution to that problem, then that's what they were looking for at IBM. 